Hey guys, Rusty here. We got the blazer on the rack. Uh, one of those boxes has the gas tank. So gas, oof, sorry. Sorry about the glare, guys. Gas tank's out. So what we are gonna do while the gas tank is out is clean this frame up. I know that a lot of this is hard to see, but it's not really bad rust and stuff. So we're gonna hit everything with the wire wheel. We're gonna disassemble some of this stuff. We're gonna pull the shocks out. I'm gonna cut this pipe out because it will end up getting new exhaust. So that'll be out of the way to clean the frame up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the bumper off now. Um, and whatever else is in the way, just to clean the back, clean this back section of the frame. Um, we have the body shop next door. He's gonna pick us up some spray can par 15, which is some very I'll just I'll just show you guys if y'all have never heard of it. Uh, it's really great for undercoating and it's it's a very strong stuff. You don't have to really do much with the rust. Just get rid of all the thick scaling, and it pretty much just goes over it. Hardens really good. Stuff's like anti-chip. It's it's pretty much the equivalent of powder coat before I think. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and take take the stuff that's in the way of cleaning up the frame. We're not doing a full restoration on this, but you know, that the brown on the frame that you can see doesn't look good. So we're gonna clean up a lot of this stuff while while we have the extra room. And obviously the shocks we're just gonna take out of there because uh, I think we're gonna put a small lift on this and these shocks look very old. I mean, look, they're original Bilstein Delcos from 1985. So, uh, Hopefully I should get the fuel pump in the day, which I will attach that to this video too. Um, so once we come back, it should be me explaining what we're doing with the fuel pump. But this is the update on where we are on gas tank out and what we're going to do with the frame. All right, guys, taking a break away from the frame portion over here to the fuel pump portion. Finally got fuel pump in now. This fuel pump right here, or um, I keep calling it a fuel pump, but it's the, the pickup in the tank. Um, they don't make this one anymore. Uh, all the ones I found online, as soon as I ordered one, they sent me back a thing saying that it'll be on back order, and then they're just like, uh, we'll just send you a, a receipt, because you're not gonna get it. It's So it's obsolete. Um, so I ordered this, which is, almost identical um this would have been out of a full-size truck so let me show you what the difference is i'm doing this one-handed if you could see how long that is so this section right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to shorten it down and then everything else will fit so my plan is i'm gonna cut it right there and I'm gonna put a compression fitting on there and get it to be this all this the right length because all this is the same length as on here oops sorry as on here so this one's the same length so if I shorten up this section it should bring it up because the tank's not as deep and I should be able to use it so I'm gonna do that and I will check back in with you guys all right guys, so this is what we have. So that's what was there. And this is what we threw together. Um, so changes I had to make was, I had to bend this. And before that came this way, um, I took it off in the direction that that pump goes because that this was opposite. Now inside the tank, um, both of these won't be touching anything. It does have its own trap down there um, that just splits the center of the tank. But uh, we got the sizes. I did have to put one here because I could not take enough out of this and it all work. Um, so that is what we got. Um, test fitted everything, everything looks good. I'm about to put it in here. Uh, this is the part number for this Dorman pickup. Um, like I said, the one for the S10s, they I guess don't make any more. Um, plus side. This one was only $70, I think. Um, the other one was like 140 or 160. 
So this one was, was way cheaper. And just a couple modifications. Um, so I'm gonna throw it all together. Um, and then the next time you see this, this tank should be inside the blazer and the frame will be painted. So we'll check back in once we finish getting the frame painted and when this is in, and then we're actually gonna try to fire it up from there. So, so we'll check back in on this later.